So this is uh, one of the three guided tours uh, we are offering today at this uh, preview event. Uh, she's going to the shrine course. So you'll be able to see one of the hundred, you know, more than hundred shrines in this game uh, outside the uh, Great Plateau you didn't see before. After you uh, finish the adventure in the Great Plateau, Link will receive the paraglider. And then with the paraglider, you'll be able to actually get off the Great Plateau. In the E3 version, you couldn't go outside, but now you can actually experience what happens outside that plateau. So now she landed on the uh, field and she's walking toward the shrine. There's a lot of like ruins, and you can see like uh, in the distance you see different enemies you didn't see in the E3 version. Those are uh, moblins. They are giant moblins. So I'm gonna you know stay away from it right now because my focus is to go to the shrine to showcase that. So let's try to sneak up. Everything we're seeing in the background is explorable, right, in this exactly. game? Exactly. So anything you can see here, you'll be able to get there eventually. Of course, it's so much farther away, so it will be hard to, you know, get there. Oh, okay, so like blue bokoblins, like bokoblin, blue bokoblins and red bokoblins, you can see those two uh, two red bokoblins have new weapons you didn't see. Those are mop and whore, you know, we didn't see before. It's kind of unique weapons to showcase. And then you'll be able to uh, get those weapons if you like to. So let's, ask, let's see, you know, what they look like. So, so that was the wooden mop. So you'd be able to actually get it, but the stats shows that it's actually five instead of 14, the one I have. So, you know, let's just like, forget about having that and then let's get going. Oh, sorry, another one is the farming hole, but you know, it's a little bit better, but eh, I like the sword. So let's just go with the sword. And then we're going into the shrine. So you don't really need to use the sword inside. So this is one of the shrines. Again, uh, there are more than 100 different shrines in this game, and it's scattered all over. The game, do you know the game is like actually 12 times bigger than the Twilight Princess world? So it's huge. And then once you activate that portal in front of the shrine, that becomes the portal. So you'll be able to tra fast travel between the different shrines. So if you found something you know, farther out in the land, and then you couldn't solve at that time, you can just give up and then go somewhere else, explore, try to you know level up more, and you can come back pretty easily using that fast travel port. So now go inside the shrine. So all of the shrines look different. Inside it's kind of similar, but what you do inside will be different. Different kind of puzzles, different kind of you know, battle you experience inside. So this one, let's see. It's the Bosch Kala Shrine. And then the challenge you'll be facing is that the wind guides you. So obviously there's wind going on and you have to find a way to get to the end of this shrine. I can't go up there. Let's try to use that wind going over there. And you know, Ring is just Ring just got the paraglider which uses the wind. So maybe that's the way to do it. So that's how you travel inside this shrine and there's a lot of different kind of chests with different kind of treasure you can find in the chest. Link just got amber. Let's get going. So the the end exit um, the goal is to get to the monk at the end of the shrine which all which is all over there. But there's a big platform and then if you go, just try to go straight you will fall down. So in the same way you did that last one, let's try to use the wind to get to the next platform. Right. Like that, it's too big. Looks like I have to use another wind to get to that end. Oops. Oops. I didn't need to, I had to jump a little bit higher, so. He would you know, fall off. It happens, you know. So let's start over. From that point, he just did. Now he did. Great job. So this is the end of the shrine. Each shrine have different sizes. So some of them are much bigger than this. This is one of the simpler ones because you just you know started. And then uh, uh, at the end, you will be talking to the monk. But this is the end of the shrine course.